Welcome back to this special snow tech edition of Fresh Gear. There's no winter sport that caters to speed demons more than the luge. The Austrians, Germans, and Italians have basically owned this sport since its inception. But the Americans aren't going down the chute without a fight, a high-tech fight. Here's how Team USA sliders are figuring out how to go faster. Adrenaline rush, it's awesome. The track here falls 40 stories. Fast the whole way down. U.S. Luge women's team member Brenna Margo of Sawyer, Michigan can't go fast enough. Here we go about 80 miles an hour. Laying flat on her back, just three inches off the ice, and steering with her toes at Park City's Olympic bobsled run, the world's fastest, the 20-year-old covers just under a mile in 45 seconds. No fear factor here, but it's not fast enough. The big dogs of luge are the Germans and Austrians. So to get to the podium in Salt Lake City, the U.S. luge team is employing some cutting-edge video technology. Using four Panasonic digital palm quarters, team coaches videotape the slider's blink of an eye passes, then download the images into a Panasonic ruggedized Toughbook 34. A video program from software manufacturer Dartfish provides viewing of up to four different screens, allowing losers to compare their runs with other team members. My entrance was a little later, um, so I got my height later in the curve. The unique simulcam feature blends two losers, one on top of the other, for very precise analysis of differences in technique, like the placement of head, feet, and body on the sled to reduce wind resistance. See how it looks like it's a little blurry? Yeah. It's because you got two people there. You can see Tony is actually accelerating off the curve and gains a lot more speed out of that curve. Another feature is stro motion, capturing individual images to view the path of a slider through a critical turn. This right now is picked at four frames interval. This would be great in, like a, in the Kreisel. All this to pick up a few fractions of a second. It came down to a thousandth of a second. Nick Sullivan earned the spot and he defeated uh, John Miles roughly by about eight inches and that's after 2.75 uh, miles worth of sliding. Loser Jonathan Miles missed making the team this day but now knows the value of watching the tapes. The video cameras are for showing the athletes after their runs uh, where they may be losing time say you know keeping their if their heads up a little bit or their feet aren't pointed correctly. You can't pick up on the subtleties of our sport going 80 miles an hour. Years past, we've just used your regular handheld camera, pan through, and sit down and watch it on a video. There's things that are happening that you can't really see. The U.S. luge team is the most meddled of our winter sports teams, and luge is the only sport that measures runs in the thousands of a second, making it even more vital that they use the latest technology to analyze runs and pick up tips that might shave their time.